It's coming up to two years since Ukraine was invaded by Russia, the anniversary this weekend. A war that's displaced more than three million people. For those who fled to Australia, while grateful to have found a safe haven, they live in limbo, unable to permanently call this country home. One of them joins me tonight, Natalia Borodinia. Natalia, your family fled here in April 2022. Yes, yes. Tell me, what was that process like? It's not easy to tell you. It's it was like a complete disaster because uh, we didn't plan, didn't prepare. Everything just happened straight away. I remember that I went to bed in, in the evening, and we had a chat with my husband. Dis just a short discussion, chat about the situation, what's going on in our country, because everyone knew that over the past week uh, some celebrities they were leaving the country and we decided that nothing like this can happen to our country to our city we were trying to stay for several weeks uh, just when i saw that uh, my middle son was constantly going each attack he was going to the fridge and grabbing anything he saw and constantly eating 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 i decided it stop and for little one he was trying to hide between the two walls so that was the final Final point in our story. <laughs> we decided to leave for the sake of our kids, first of all, and my mental health possibly as well. Yeah. So it was, uh, I wasn't strong. I, I was always thinking that I'm strong, but in this situation, unfortunately, wasn't strong enough. So how did you get out? So it was a long, long journey. First to Moldova, then, then uh, Romania. And as I have a cousin in Australia, we took a decision to come to Australia to get support. Uh, it's the only relative I have outside Ukraine. And uh, truly speaking, I have no one left in Ukraine. Is there anything left for you to return to? It's the grave of my mother. She passed away six years ago and uh, her birthday was on the 8th of March. We left on the 6th of March and now I'm just dreaming about coming back and visiting this place. So your heart is still in Ukraine, that's where yeah. you would like to live if you yeah. could. Yeah, yeah, but trust me, no one planned to come because to compare the life of refugees, it's a huge, huge difference to the skilled migration. We didn't plan, we didn't learn English. My husband and many, many Ukrainians, they are coming with zero English. It's not because we are not well educated, it's because we didn't plan to come and we were happy with our life. Mm. So I understand that the Australian government granted three-year temporary humanitarian yes. visas. You are now over the age of 45, which means you're not eligible for many of the pathways to build a permanent home here. So what are your options? Unfortunately, not many. And it doesn't matter how hard I work, how good is my English. Even if my company is uh, able to provide me with the work visa, Unfortunately, it won't, won't result in, uh, won't lead me to permanent residency. And it's not about me only. Elderly people who came to get uh, safety and support from their kids, for example, and uh, skilled migration is not a pathway for them as well. Some people, they came with zero English. It's not enough. Three years, not enough. And how are your children? Here, I mean, you must be worried about their future when you yes. don't know what your future is here. Yes, yes. The first thing I'm worried about is my, uh, are my kids. The little one, he's started kinder this year. He's five now and he's happy. And we are so grateful to Australia for getting this safety support. But uh, truly speaking, I'm scared about the future of my kids. Unfortunately, the situation in our country, it's not changing for the better. The war is going on. Know nothing about the future. So if you can't get another visa that allows you to stay here permanently, what will you do? I don't know. It's not safe to go back. And I, I can see on the news the stories of people who came back and their house was bombed. And I can see how kids are killed. I can't imagine myself living in this situation. Well, thank you f so much for coming in and sharing your story and really highlighting the problem that thank we've you. got here right now. Thanks so much. Thank you.